More than six weeks after one of his trains derailed along the Pennsylvania Ohio line, Norfolk Southern CEO faced the music at the state capitol today. He did apologize to a state Senate committee, but not all of his responses went over well. Dennis Owens was there and he joins us with our top story. Dennis. Well, ladies, Alan Shaw was in the hot seat for nearly an hour and a half. He was good at delivering his scripted message, though seemed to be less adept at answering questions the senators have been crafting for a month and a half. Please say I do. And Norfolk Southern CEO did apologize. I want to begin today by expressing how deeply sorry I am for the impact this derailment has had on the citizens of East Palestine and the communities in Western Pennsylvania. He promised the company would pay for cleanup, current and future testing of air, water, soil, and people's health. You have my personal commitment. We will get the job done and we will help these communities thrive. But he wouldn't answer direct questions about who approved burning five rail cars with toxic chemicals. Under the structure of Unified Command, the incident commander it takes the lead. So the local fire chief led the entire operation on the ground, including the decision of the, of the burn. So your cars are on fire, it's your rail, it, it's your incident, and you're going to leave it to a local fire chief who probably never had to deal with potentially such a catastrophe before and he's going to make the decision. Shaw also pledged to increase safety inspections and training. We've heard enough of that, you know, quite frankly. I Paul Pokrowka is a Norfolk Southern engineer on leave to head the union that represents them. He calls the company's safety claim disingenuous. You can see all the millions of dollars a year they spend on lobbying for deregulation. So to say that they will support safety while they support deregulation, you tell me. Uh, it's, 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 uh, it doesn't add up. Mr. Shaw is not telling you the truth about the history of his railroad. Robert Comer is a train accident investigator. He testified that he took photos yesterday and found wooden railroad ties near East Palestine in disrepair. Over so many decades, all the way back, they have been ignoring or dodging the paying the money to increase the safety of their trains. Shaw couldn't answer some questions and appeared to avoid others, but he continued to pledge this. Senator, each and every day, I'm going to do the next right thing. I'm going to see this through no matter what happens, and no matter what it takes. Shaw also said the burning of those rail cars worked because water and air samples have thus far checked out, show no troubling results, and there was no major explosion that could have happened had they not burned them off. Senator Katie Muth countered that many people have reported symptoms, and with the company setting aside millions for potential future illnesses, she doesn't know how that can be called working. Ladies?